anytime you go out and you pursue a quarry, you have an objective, and that is to go out and hopefully be successful and bring back meat for the family. The wind has to be right, and uh, they gotta be coming in and not knowing where you're at, and you gotta have a good shot and uh, close proximity. So there's a lot of things against you. That's bow hunting. much, but I've been dabbling a little bit at bow hunting for 30 some years. There's a ton of cows in there. Nor is he. It's just been good to stick with it, enjoy the whole time. I'm just having the time of my life. I think most hunters and most bow hunters, uh, they absolutely know that when they go in the woods, you kind of play the cards and you gotta have so many things right. You, you, you just come out and if the Lord's gonna make it happen and put something in front of you and get it on the ground and on the table, that's a, that's a huge bonus. We got a mouse up here and we're the cats. We're playing, we're playing cat and mouse. We're in the thick timber. We're gonna try to piss this bull off as he'll come in. It's so thick, that's the only chance we have. We're in their backyard. We'll see if they come open the door for us. There's a small bull right here. 50 yards to the right. See him? Yeah. Beyond him. It's a big bunch, and there's, there's a bull in there. Okay. I can't tell how big he is. Let's kind of walk up here a little bit.
the evening. We got 30, 40 head of elk out in this park. We're not gonna be able to get any closer. Just feeding in their backyard. It's, it's hard to hold back, whether it's getting dark or uh, whether the cows are there, gotten you nailed down and pinned down. Um, you got this thing inside you saying, Let's get in there. Let's get to crawl. Let's belly crawl. <laughs> Let's get up there and get as close as we can. But with doing that too, you might not see some things that you would have seen if you just held a little longer and were more patient. Most times or not, that getting in there and pushing, you're done. You know, ruins the hunt. We just had the greatest show on stage right in front of us. We were here on the front row seat of seeing them. We couldn't get any close enough, but it was your sure fun watching. Hey, good morning. There was some elk last night that were bugling and everything. Uh, we're hoping they're gonna be in the same area this morning, which I'm pretty sure they will. We're hoping for a lot of action this morning. It's gonna be tough. Let's back off and go around them. There he is. There he is. Come on this side. This side. He's right at the top. He's right at the top. He's pushing down. Timing of the rut uh, is always a challenge, and we're just a little early. The, the big bulls haven't come in yet. The smaller bulls have the herds, and there aren't many satellite bulls even that frenzied.
Ryan's rider back too. Yeah. Go figure, right? it because we hear them bugling, it's awesome. You get to see them chasing cows. Um, you get to see them chasing other bulls away. It's just awesome, and to hear their bugle, it's just majestic. This park has been awesome. This park and that park up there, just been crazy. If you could go out in the woods and, and have success every single time, it wouldn't mean as much. We've had 100% success, except for one thing, we just didn't have the kill. Past that, this has been a, a wonderful hunt. Full moon, full moon. Wolves will be howling here pretty soon. Yeah.